Canva AI tools have come a long way since AI first hit the scene. Not only has Canva greatly improved the capabilities of the original tools on the platform, they continue to roll out new AI features to give us more options and save tons of effort and time when creating our designs. So that's exactly what we're talking about today, Canva AI tools. I'm sharing some of the newest AI releases on the platform and my favorite ways to use them. Let's go. Now, real quick, before we jump into Canva, if you're here, I'm guessing you might be interested in making making money online, working from home, selling digital products. Canva is an amazing tool to use to sell these kind of products. And the great thing about this type of business model is that you can literally create the product one time and then set it up to sell on autopilot, making you passive income while you're not even actively working. You can do this as a side hustle or even to earn a full-time income. So if you're interested in selling digital products, I have a free 45 minute long masterclass. It's going to be a great help to you. It's called digital product powerhouse. I have it linked in the video description box below. So definitely hop over and watch that after you get done watching this video. All right, so the first Canva AI tool we're talking about is Magic Design. We can access Magic Design when we're on Canva. If we come over to the left where it says templates and come to the template section where there's a search bar at the top that we can type in what we're wanting Magic Design to create for us. Magic Design is basically Canva's AI tool that will generate templates for you really of any sort depending on what you want. So let's say I'm a business coach that's wanting to generate some templates for social media posts. I could type in this search bar, Instagram story for digital products coach. Now here at the top, I can see where it says magic design. This does have a little crown symbol next to it, which tells me this is a Canva pro feature. Anything in Canva that has this little crown tells you that this is accessible by pro users. The Canva pro plan is their paid upgraded plan. You can do a lot on Canva for free, but if you're interested in trying out Canva pro and getting access to some of these really awesome advanced features, as well as tons of different pro images, videos, audio tracks, elements, then I've got a free 30 day Canva pro trial linked in the video description box below. That'll give you 30 days totally for free on Canva Pro so you can try it out and see if it might be a good fit for your business. But here it has gone ahead and used AI to generate these different Instagram stories for me. So I can see it's got photos, it's got graphic elements, it's got text in there. This one says, unlock your digital product potential. This one says, wanna scale your business. And I can tell if I hover over these, if there's any animations like this one, this text is being animated coming in from the left. So I can tell it's already done a lot of work to get this ready to go. So if I like one of these, I could literally just click on it, click customize this template, maybe switch out this photo, which I could select delete that, which leaves me with the frame that I could then pull in my own photo into, of course, change the text around to say whatever I want it to say, if I wanna tweak this at all or tweak the colors by selecting this, coming up to the color box, changing these out for my brand colors and boom, within the matter of seconds, I have my Instagram story design ready to go. But let's come back to this magic design area because I wanna show you some additional features you can use along with this. So I can come to where it says all filters and I did type in an Instagram story, but I can select that here if I want it to only limit the size of what it's generating to the Instagram story size, but I can select multiple ones if I wanted it to also create, let's say a landscape Facebook post for me or a presentation size, I can do that as well and select those here. I can also come to where it says media. If I know I have a certain photo that I'm wanting this design to include, I can go ahead and upload my own media. So let's say if I know I want it to include this picture of me, I'll select that, click see results. And here it's regenerating the templates using this piece of media that I have selected. So now I've got all of these different Instagram stories generated using my photo in different styles. So if I like one, again, I would just click on it and click to customize it. But another fun thing I can do is if I have Canva Pro and I've created my brand kit, which is a really cool feature of Canva Pro where you can create a kit to tell Canva exactly what brand colors and fonts you want to use to have quick access to those. I can come to where it says brand and then select the brand kit I want to apply to these. So this will apply my colors and fonts from that brand kit. So let's say I want to use my Kate Hayes brand. I can just select that and click see results. And now it's changed everything to some of my brand colors. It's changed the fonts to my personal brand fonts. So this is a one click easy way to make sure that these are on brand for my business. If I want to change this over to a different template, let's say I want to come to this one, I can click see results. And again, it just changes it to the new brand kit. 
So again, brand kits are a feature of Canva Pro, but they are super useful and helpful when you're using Canva specifically for designing things for your business or your online presence to keep all of your colors and fonts cohesive. So this is just an amazing AI tool to help me save tons of time so I'm not having to start from scratch. All right, moving on to Canva AI tool number two, which is Dream Lab. If I'm on the Canva homepage, I can find Dream Lab here on the left where it says Dream Lab and click to access this. And Dream Lab is Canva's text to image AI generator. So this is going to allow me to input a text prompt. So I'm typing in what I want my image to look like and then it generates the image for me based on what prompt I have given it. So let's say I want an image of a car driving down a busy, city street at night with skyscrapers all around lit up in the night sky. Of course, I can make this as detailed as I want. I might want to give it more details if I'm looking for something really specific, but I can just start with this. Now, before I click create here, I'm going to choose a few different options down here underneath. I can actually add an image to guide my creation. So here, if I click add image right now, I can click on style reference. This is where Canva is actually going to take an image that I'm going to upload and create these AI generated images in the same style. So if I click on this, it'll give me the option to upload a file or to select even from my recent generation from Dream Lab. So if I want to do that, if I have an image in mind that I like the style of, I can add an image here. I can also click this middle area where I can select a style. Tons of different styles here. I can choose cinematic, creative, illustration, fashion, portrait, sketch, pop art, lots of fun things to play around with here. I'm going to just for now click pop art. And then here on the end, I'm going to select what aspect ratio I want. Do I want this to be a square one to one aspect ratio? Do I want this to be landscape or portrait. I have some different options here. For now, I'm going to just stick with our square one to one and then I'm going to click create. So here are the four different images it's generated for me. This is my car driving down the busy city street with the skyscrapers in the pop art style. So I think this did a great job. These are so fun. So if I like one of these, I can always click here to edit it further. I can download the image, but if it generates something that's not quite what I'm looking for, I can always come up here and edit my prompt or edit the style I've chosen or the aspect ratio. So I'm going to come up and change the style from pop art to sketch. Let's see what it does when I use the same prompt, but in the sketch style. So here we can see my cars, same prompt in a different style. We've got the pop art style here, the sketch style here. And I personally think that Canva's image generation has come such a long way since they first started. As I've been using this dream lab, I've seen it do an amazing job with all of these different styles. So this is not only just a really fun thing to play around with on Canva, but also if you're looking to create images to use in your digital products or in something like a social media post or creating graphics for email, you can do so many different things with these graphics. This is going to save you tons of time and effort. And again, make it so that you're not having to create something like this from scratch. Now Canva also has a dream lag function in the brand kit. So again, like I mentioned, if you have Canva Pro, you can come over on the left to where it says brand. And this is where you're building out your different brand kits. So Canva can and remember what colors and fonts you use on a regular basis. So I'm clicking into my main business brand kit here. I've got my logos for different things uploaded. I've got my brand colors here, my fonts. But if I scroll down under where it says photos and I can see this assets section, it says generate on brand images on demand. This is where it's going to let me use any photo in my brand kit as a style reference to generate more photos using AI to use for my brand. So I've already uploaded some stock photos here that I really like the sort of light and style of and I want to generate some more of these to use for my brand. I can choose the one I want to use as my style reference. So let's say this one, I'm going to come up in the right hand corner where the three dots are and choose generate from photo. So then this brings up dream lab for your brand, which is where I'm going to enter my prompt for what I want the new photo to be. So maybe I'll say a coffee cup on a desk with a laptop and notebook beside it. I'm going to stick with my one to one aspect ratio here and click generate. All right, so here are the four photos that it generates generated using my prompt about the coffee cup in this sort of light and airy style. So I can see the style is definitely similar to the image I used as the reference. Now, some of these look a little more realistic than others. So I would probably only use the ones that seem really truly realistic, but I can select the ones I like and then click to add them to my brand kit. So again, an amazing, helpful tool that allows me to generate these types of photos to use for my business, as opposed to having to search and find them within the Canva library or even on a third party platform, I can just 
just generate new ones right here using Canva AI. Now I'd love to know if you've tried Canva's Dream Lab yet and which of these styles seems most interesting to you. Would you go with illustration, cinematic, minimalist? So many choices here. Comment below and let me know which of these styles stands out as the one that has the most potential for you. Okay, the next Canva AI tool we're talking about is Magic Write. I'm here in the Canva editor. I've just opened up a blank letter size project. And if I come over to the left-hand side where it says text, I can see this menu pop out that has the option for Magic Writes. So if I click on this, this is gonna help me use Canva's AI to generate text for what I want to be written on this page. I can give it a prompt here. And the more detailed I can be, the better describing exactly what I want it to write out for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell Canva to write a three paragraph summary of the benefits of selling digital products online to make passive income. Of course, I can always be more detailed than that, but when I'm ready, I can click generate. And here it's using AI to go ahead and write out my three paragraphs all about digital products. And when it's done, I can read through this. And if I like it, I can click here to insert it into my project, or I can refine it a little bit by giving it more instructions. I can say more like this to have it continue generating more, or I can choose this button that says this, but, so this is going to be refining. I like this, but rewrite it in a relationship relatable, casual tone. And then I'm gonna click generate again. And here it's rewriting the same thing in a different tone according to my instructions. So I can continue just regenerating and refining this until I like it. And then I can click insert. And here it has inserted it as a text box into my project. So now I can do what I would normally do inside my project with a text box. I can move this around. I can change what this says. I can tweak it. I can edit the font. I can move it around and reposition it. So what I love though from here is when I have my text selected, I can come up to this little pencil that says magic write again. And this is going to pull up my magic write menu. That's going to give me even more options from here. I can choose rewrite if I want it to rewrite this again. I can fix the spelling if there's anything misspelled in it. I can click continue writing if I want it to just continue generating more on the same topic. I can shorten it. I can choose more fun to change it to a more fun tone or a more formal tone. This is one that says sprinkle fairy dust, which is really fun. It just adds a little bit of style and flair to the way this is written. But my favorite thing I can do here is where it says change voice. And this is where I can actually add Add my own custom voice into Canva. So we all know as business owners, we have a specific brand voice. It's the way we sound when we write and people get used to that when they read your social media captions, your emails, really anything that you've written. So you might always sound really relatable when you write, or you might sound really professional or formal. There's so many different styles of voices out there, but you can click here to add a new voice in Canva. Again, this is a Canva Pro option. So you will need to have Canva Pro for this, but you can name your new voice. So I might say my brand voice. And then I'm going to write a sample text here to give it an idea of what my writing usually sounds like. So since I'm usually pretty fun and casual and relatable in my writing, I might say something like, Hey friend, I really think you need to look into selling digital products online. It's an amazing way to make money working from home and is pretty fun too. I absolutely love earning passive income this way and know you would too. Let's be real. I pretty much be jumping for joy if you got started by watching my free digital products masterclass. Okay, so that's my sample text. I'm gonna click analyze voice and here it's using its AI to write out a description of what my voice sounds like. So here it says, your writing is friendly and conversational, engaging the reader with enthusiasm and positivity. It features informal language and direct address, creating a personal touch. Rhetorical questions and vivid imagery are used to enhance emotional appeal and emphasize benefits. That sounds pretty accurate to me. So if it sounds accurate, I can click save. This is saving that description as my brand voice. So now when I've got writing here, I can select my text, come to my magic write option, come over to change voice, and I can see it's here as the name, my brand voice. So if I click this, it's going to regenerate this text in my own brand voice that I just saved to make it sound more like me. So 
it's come up with that. I can click replace and now I've got the new version of this in my project. This is so helpful if I'm using a tool like let's say chat GPT to generate some text for me and then I'm bringing it into Canva but it still doesn't quite sound like me. I can copy and paste that text into Canva and then use the magic write feature to change the voice with one click. So there you go, friend. Those are some of my absolute favorite Canva AI tools. Don't forget to click the links below to hop over and watch my free 45 minute long digital product masterclass and also to grab your free Canva Pro 30 day trial. Happy creating friend.